Good morning, Eastern Standard Time. If you're watching this, you're checking in. It's been hard the past week. I'm totally blown off my schedule because, you know, I left work. And I'm kind of like between a place of relief and a place of panic because I'm not used to not having that set schedule. And, you know, set schedule is kind of important to me. And there's been a few days, you know, I felt like I was sorry I woke up. And then there's a few days that I've felt like, man, this is great to be alive. I'm just kind of, I'm in between, you know, I'm in limbo. I don't like it. But, I mean, money is not a problem. You know, I should be, I am thankful for that. Not should be, I, I am thankful for that. You know, and I've got enough savings to uh, keep me going. You know, if I, if I spend hard, I could last three months with what I got saved up. I don't want to use that savings because it's once I want land. But, you know, you gotta do what you got to do. I'm not hurting for money. I'm not hurting for a place to live. I'm not hurting for food. I still got my dogs. I have a lot to be thankful for, and I'm thankful for that. Uh, this is not really a moral story or anything. This is just me checking in in general. But I'm still here. I'm still kicking. I'm alive. I'm putting applications. I'm waiting to hear back. Because everything moves so damn slow. You know how it is. I had to get on to the post office, but that could be six weeks. I've heard. I've heard. I don't know for sure. That and I'm waiting on my DD-214 to get in because I think my dog ate it. And I put in for that last week. That could be here next week. That could be here in six weeks. You know, everything is just, everything is just time. That's infuriating because I'm not a particularly patient person. I don't know if you knew that. But... You know, I'm keeping on, keeping on. I'm going to keep on keeping on. It's too easy to give up. I made it this far. I can make it. I'll be all right. Whew. Got a check uh, deposited for my last paycheck. So, with that, if I spend hard, I can last three weeks. But I'm going to not spend hard and hopefully make it last longer. I have, however, budgeted $20 into putting into my, uh, you know, food cache for hard times. Because hard times are coming, in my opinion. What we've seen with toilet paper is just the beginning. If people act like animals over toilet paper, imagine if food is not readily available, right? So, I would suggest you have at least a month of food handy, at minimum. Three days for FEMA, a month for crazy people and idiotic situations in the world. But yeah, I'm doing all right. I'll make it. You know, I'm still on my meds. That's keeping me kind of where I need to be. And I have bouts of depression and anxiety, you know. I find myself getting all teary-eyed for no reason. And then I'll calm down and I'll be happy. I'm not bipolar or anything. It's just... Something will happen with other events that have happened. I'm just kind of, I'm fair to middling. I'm kind of right in the middle, like I said, limbo. I don't like it, but at the same time, I think I was worse off when I was working because, you know, I'd go in there and work my ass off, and then this is a thankless job. It's all about, you know, keeping the boss under the radar of corporate so he can look good and I'm done doing that I'm done trying to serve other people I don't know if you know what that means where's that there it is <laughs> that's Japanese for Ronin what that means is it's a samurai without a master it's a warrior without a fate I don't I don't uh, you know abide by any master I don't I just kind of I'm, I'm on my own I decide for what's going on for myself <laughs> and I'll live that way and with any luck I'll die that way but not yet 
But I'm um, doing all right. Don't need to worry. I'm doing fine. I'll make it. Uh, I'd like to thank you for watching, for subscribing, for being there for me. All those that are there for me, you know who you are. <laughs> we'll get through this like we get through everything else. One day at a time. And that's that. So, thanks again. Be kind to each other. Love one another. We haven't talked to somebody in so many days. Check in with them. Make sure they're doing all right. Maybe they can actually give you a little lift in spirit just by contacting them. But if you're watching this, you're checking in. You'll have a great day. Be careful out there.